every year I turn up um, and as soon as I've got everything set up um, I just go for a stroll and you know I just see so many familiar faces first thing I do when I get to brainchild is hug everyone and that takes about half a day <laughs> and uh, yeah by the time that's done then you've got to crack on and actually build the site it's a, it's a lot of work but it's worth every bit of it everyone brings their own skills uh, brainchild is a festival but it's so much more than that it's it's a it's a culture of of giving it's a culture of sharing it's a culture of young people shaping their experiences through their creative output it was good to arrive like the the day before the festival started just to get to know the site a bit and it was always so nice to see how um, excited the team were about what they had kind of lined up for the festival and how proud they were of what they'd built that year. When I'm describing brainchild to people, I usually say, imagine a like a like a street party without streets um, and, and all your the neighborhoods there you know there's food there's pims there's small tractors like children's tractors except everyone's kind of the same age and uh, it's much better than that you come to put in child and you feel like you're being you're having a very warm hug <laughs> You can kind of experience, experience all these new things for yourself in a very kind of safe space. Brainchild is uh, good at sort of spreading out the focus across art forms. You're going to see really beautiful music and very varied music as well but also loads of theatre and theatre and dance workshops and art and poetry. Brent has got an incredibly varied range of art installations. Um, it's got an incredibly varied range of music and dance and theatre and, and, and the, the panel discussions of Brainchild are amazing. So I first discovered Brainchild in I was back in 2015. I've been, yeah, that was back in 2015, and I've been every year since. I discovered Brainchild through friends of mine uh, who have gone for years. I've always wanted to go because of hearing stories from when it was a really small festival and how much fun they had and how lovely it was. I've tried to go every year. That has been on pretty much. I've been to the festival three times. I actually, yeah, three times. There's a real sense of community and a real sense of kind of friendship and um, making new friends and kind of bonding with people. And like you kind of go and you just, every other person you see is like someone who you know, it's so social. Someone will go, oh, I know so-and-so who's working at it. It seems like everybody knows somebody who is part of the Brainchild crew. Um, yeah, it's a big old family. Sorry if that sounded cheesy. It's been amazing watching Brainchild grow and change and develop. Um, when we started it, we really didn't know what it was going to turn out to be. We just had this kind of set of hopes and values and ideas and, you know, illusions and delusions and big dreams. and. Um, I don't think any of us could have imagined what it was going to turn into. Over the five years that I have been going, I've kind of seen it kind of shift into something that's larger, but really holds on to all those original, what, what I thought the original values were, which is kind of, just getting into a field with all your best mates and best mates to be and just having a great time for three days. 
and the first time I went to Brainchild I volunteered which was such a good way to to be there for the first time and to get involved it's the nice thing about volunteering is that you feel like you're you're putting you're, you know you're you're helping towards what is a great festival I performed there um, a few times um, and also did some stage management and helped with the build and the set down as well. I think the first year that I went there after that performance, I was just that guy that was just like, need any help? Even if she weren't stressed, just still, do you need any help? Oh, oh, this DJ fella um, dropped out. Do you need a DJ? I can DJ. That was neat. I've done a few things. I've done, I've done some art projects. I've done lots. Of, I've played in various bands there, various incarnations. I think a lot of the opportunities I've had as an artist, as a musician, as whatever, has been filtered through, you know, the the brain of Brainchild. It's created so many opportunities for so many people because you're literally mingling with um, you know so many people with different backgrounds and if you're a creative person and have that kind of drive then there's so many opportunities there to meet people who are just like you. It's amazing to get such a creative, kind, generous, hard-working community of people together for such a small space of time in the same space. But yeah, I feel like Brainchild really makes an effort to support artists. And it's kind of grown to like a little kind of friendship, like community circle. It's just so unique. It's just nice. It's like, it's a good, a good feeling. It's not really like any other festival. Like walking around, it's so easy to like make new friends and start up conversations or like people will drag you in to like, you know, some kind of game they're playing. And it's like a real positive, loving atmosphere that flows throughout the whole festival. And you can kind of be however you want, as long as you're not being a dickhead, and it just doesn't seem like that's going to happen. Also, I, can't, I just love the size of it, and it also really breeds like hanging out with people. You see someone on, on the Friday night, and you see them again on the Saturday, and you see them again on the Sunday, and by the end, you'll, it feels like you're friends, or at least they recognise you and you recognise them, which is the first step to friendship. And like, you know, it's not like muddy, it's not like huge and crowded, it's just like one field you can like see all the way across there when you're there. It's just so easy. <laughs> it's really, really magic. I think the size of the festival really lends itself to keeping this small community vibe, which is so, so special. That just, that just sense of anything can happen is amazing. I mean, the Sunday evening, that like golden hour of sunset, everyone's on the same level, everyone's on this like resonant level. There's, there's an energy about it. Also, the weather is always amazing. You always get a crazy sunset. It's just a really happy little world that has been carefully created and nurtured. And for, yeah, for me personally, it's, uh, it's a really great melting point for people who have come from all different parts of my life who come to this place and just absolutely love it every time. So to me, it almost feels like, and this is going to sound really corny, but it's, it feels like home. And yeah, I absolutely, yeah, I just absolutely love it. And I look around and I see, you know, this unadulterated pleasure in people's eyes. And it's almost like they're in this kind of trance. And they're so free. It, the brainchild is like this sort of gateway into letting, letting go. And I, you know, become part of this trance of celebrating life and and uh, you know, being creative, like creative expression and being free. It's so hard to pin down what's special about Brainchild because there are so many things at once going on in terms of creative fulfillment, in terms of bravery, in terms of 
ideas in terms of queerness and youth and and that hunger to change the world and oh my goodness so much good stuff but I think maybe what keeps me coming back every year is just how rare it is to be in an environment that feels truly by us for us but with the widest definition of us these are environments that we've built simply for the people who want to be in them and and all we ask is honesty and open-mindedness from you. For me, the best thing about Brainchild is probably this feeling of everyone all coming together under the same canopy and just kind of letting loose for, for three days and kind of dancing and talking and thinking in new ways about things and it really is this like zone where things all seem to like fit into place. What makes Brainchild special is the space that's given to new ideas, new artists, whether they're writers, dancers, speakers. I think it's really important to yeah, have this space to breathe a bit, try stuff out and like develop or to discover something new. I think and I think that that's something really valuable to leave yeah to leave with something that you'll carry with you for a little while Ha <laughs> ha